Hello everyone, this is Foxy Papa Smurf, or FPS Gamer for short, and I'm here bringing you a map showcase of a puzzle map that I created in the Halo 2 Anniversary template. And I'm not going to show you too much, just kind of the challenges that you'll find within this puzzle map. And this is the first puzzle map I've ever created, but honestly I think it turned out pretty good. So this is, bar none, far and away the most intricate and complicated map I have ever made. One thing that I added that, you know, I'm actually kind of proud of, is a way to let your teammates or yourself respawn at different points along the level. And the way I made that work were these checkpoints where you activate a switch, a teleporter appears, and it activates in a teleporter room where you respawn. They're labeled red and green, and when you activate one, it turns green over it so you know you've already been to that spot. So you'll just look along the top of the wall, see the most recent green one that's activated, and you know that's the teleporter you're supposed to go into. This map tests intellectually, also physically your ability to crouch jump and uh, stunt jump, double jump or butterfly jump, whatever you want to call it, crouch jumping. There's one-way shields, there's cannons, there's teleporters, there's switches and triggers, there's timers, there's gravity lifts, switches destroyed, there's things that spawn and despawn on the map. Basically every element you can think of and I had kind of a hard time keeping the piece count under a reasonable amount. Um, it does touch 600 pieces, which I know sounds really, really high. I think it's like 590. I know it sounds really high, but the, all the pieces I used are walls or um, large blocks, which are you know, actually okay for frame rate. You really don't have too many issues with those pieces. And this map is only made for two people. And you're almost always together, which means you're almost always staring at the same thing. You know, I know when you have a large map with a lot of pieces, and two people are on opposite ends of the map, the engine has to load basically the entire map at, at one given moment. But in this one, you're both together in tight spaces, and all the geometry around you is very, very simple. So I encountered no frame rate issues whatsoever on this map, even though it's close to 600 pieces. And also, physically, I think there's only about maybe 450 physical pieces that show up on the map. And there's a lot of things that spawn and despawn. Um, a lot of those pieces are triggers or timers, you know, things like uh, kill boundaries, things like that that don't necessarily show up once you're in customs and it actually loads the physical map. This map really promotes teamwork. I recommend doing this with a buddy because uh, there's challenges that you just can't do by yourself. And you can do this when you're in the same room or you can do this if your buddy's on the other side of the planet. As long as you two have good communication skills, you can get through these challenges fairly quickly. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see the solution video to this, uh, there's a link in the description. I recommend giving it a download and trying it for yourself before watching that. Um, because it is a lot of fun, I promise you, and I'm not just saying that because I made it. it. It is a lot of fun to do. And I won't post in the solution video what you see after you go through that final teleporter. Unfortunately, if you want to see that, you're just going to have to do the challenge for yourself. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and uh, give this map a download and you let me know what you think after you've gone through the challenges. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time.